I'm using my buff as a face mask in case I'm going into a public face. But I think you might hear me slightly better with it taken off. Last week, we gave you a sneaky peek of the Travoy trailer. I'm going to assemble the Travoy trailer so that I can take additional parcels to the carrier drop-off because I've run out of space on the bag on the front carrier block and the rack. This is the 2020 Burley Travoy and here it is in its bag. Next, we're going to unpack it and we're going to run through the features. The first feature, it comes in its own tote bag. I want to use the trailer tomorrow, so we need to unpack it. It comes with an instruction manual, which I am going to have a quick look at to make sure I don't give you some misinformation. The wheels are really easily installed by pressing the centre of the wheel, which pushes the pin out. It's the same mechanism that you use to remove them. The nice yellow bit in the centre of the wheel is where you press to install and remove the wheels. If you don't press the yellow button down, you can't get the wheel to go into the axle. If you press the button down, it slides in nicely, but then won't come out. I now have a pair of wheels on my trailer, which I'm going to unfold, ready to put it onto my bicycle. It simply unfolds like that, and then you can pull the kickstand down to enable it to stand up. And now I'm going to unfold the top section by turning the handle and lifting the top up. And now I'm going to undo the connector by twisting the handle and then get rid of the marketing stuff and take some more recycling off the packaging. So the next step I need to do is install the connector onto the back of my Brompton. So this is the connector that goes onto your seat post. And then this will be used to attach the trailer onto the bicycle. And it's got a nice safety mechanism to make sure it stays in place. I'm now going to move my trailer out of the way to get ready to install it onto my bicycle. Before I install the trailer onto my bicycle, I'm just going to unfold him. I'm hoping this should be super easy to install. It's got an adjustment mechanism to make sure it fits your seat post. So, let's see how much more adjustment I need to make. I think I need to extend it quite a lot. Unless I want to squash my seat post. So now each time I want to remove it, it's the right width, so it's super easy to remove. I don't really need to worry about leaving it installed. If I do want to leave it installed, it's brilliant. I can get a spare connector so I can have one on each bike. And now the moment I've been really looking forward to, attaching the trailer to my bicycle. To install the trailer, it's really easy. You just move the yellow lever out of the way and pop the trailer onto the connector. You do need to push it down slightly and then release the lever. Burley recommend that you make sure the trailer is nowhere near interfering with your rear wheel. I think we've got quite a lot of space. This is the scale of my problem. They wouldn't fit on the rack and in the tea bag. I'm hoping with the Travoy, 
I might get some of them in it. The rest are going to have to go on the tea bag and on the rack of the other bicycle. So, let's start packing. Thankfully, it has these wheel guards to stop the luggage going into the wheels as I'm travelling. It also has these connection points for the luggage straps. They simply pop on and then you can adjust them when you have your luggage installed. One of the clever features of the trailer is it has two reflectors that you can fold down so that they're seen when you're riding. Now, let's try and load some up. One pizza box, without a pizza, but with a tyre. He fits nicely there. I think I might be full. So now we've loaded up the boxes, we're going to take them to the carrier drop-off point. On our way to the carrier drop-off, we do include some gravel road as well as some tarmac. It will be interesting to see how the trailer gets on on the gravel. I found the trailer no problem on the gravel and it rolled really nicely on the tarmac. My boxes even stayed on, thanks to the straps holding them in place. I find it much easier when you get to your destination to take the trailer off of the bicycle, stand it up using the stand and then fold the bicycle. Please remember not to overload your trolley. So that's 40 kilos you mustn't exceed on this section, the bottom section, and 20 kilos you must exceed on the top section. All of the connection and folding controls are easily noticed because they're yellow, with the exception of the base, which isn't yellow. So, we're going to fold it. I'm just going to turn the handle and fold the attachment arm down. Then, we're going to fold the top section down. Next, I'm going to fold the kickstand in. To fold the bottom section, you need to pull this wire. I'm going to make sure the reflectors are folded in as well. And then, I'm going to take the wheels off. By pushing the yellow button in, and pulling the wheel out. Handily, they pop into the shelf. I'm going to pop him back into his tote bag. If you like this video about the Travoy trailer, please give us a big thumbs up. If you want to see more of our videos, please hit the bell button and subscribe. Then you'll get a notification each time we upload a new video. A nice little folding trailer in a nice storage bag. <laughs> and now, sorry, I just got it. And now, and now I'm going to lift safety mechanism to make sure it stays in place when you go over speed humps too quickly with lots of fast. Here's a Brompton on the Travoy. You might notice he's got a flat tyre. He's going to go to the Tubalito Flix Kit Hospital later to get mended. As a forewarning, I'm not very good at spatial awareness. So far, my capacity's not improved very well or very much. Maybe I'll put some little ones on the top. We're going to try very hard not to overload the NHS by overloading our trailer. Please stay safe everyone.